17 and we are live in South Florida in my studio and today I have a very special surprise for you to be doing a yarn unboxing. I purchased this yarn personally myself and it is the first of four shipments on the way right now. I'm going to be doing yarn unboxings today and I have three more shipments coming so as soon as they arrive We'll do unboxings of those too. Super excited to show you what I ordered. Uh, today's unboxing is from Knit Picks, and I will unbox it when I wait a few minutes. I want to wait a few minutes first for people to pop over from pre chat and notifications. And in the meantime, let's see who's here and say hello to everybody. If you're joining me live, please say hello. If you end up watching the recorded version, always feel welcome to say hello as well because I do reply to all of those comments throughout the day as well. Hi, Geraldine. Hi, Judy. Hi, Irma, Kat, Donna, Joe, Marlene, Joanne, Judy, Dawn, Charlie, Marlene, Edna, Judy, Dawn, Sharon, Hi everybody, what day is it today? Happy Wednesday. Hope everybody's having a great day so far. Hopefully this is going to be a fun surprise for you. I would like to tell you a little bit about Knit Picks first before I do the unboxing. Knit Picks is actually the first yarn company that I ever shared uh, design proposals for 18 years ago when I started in the industry. And it is one of the first companies that accepted design proposals for me. So one of the first companies that I designed for long before I had my own website and publishing myself, I used to do designs for larger companies. I believe Interweave Crochet Magazine was one of my first uh, customers and Knit Picks was one of my first customers. So I've actually been working, I worked with Knit Picks Yarn for many years way back when and I haven't used their yarn in a long time so I felt like it was a good time to go shopping on their website. They have some amazing sales right now and I'm going to have links for all sorts of fun things for you today including a blog post where I wrote in detail about each of the yarns that I ordered and I'll post that link here if you like. Let's see, where's the chat? Hi Chris. Hi Steffi, good morning. Hi Barbara and Lois. So glad you all could join me. So now that I've shared a little history of Knit Picks, what do you say we do a little unboxing? Oh, before we unbox, have to give some honorable mention to Bravo Worsted Yarn, which is yarn that I ordered from Knit Picks very recently. And I have two sneak peeks to show you. Number one, I'm one ball away from finishing this crochet cocoon shrug in Knit Picks Bravo Worsted, which is their 100% acrylic uh, worsted weight yarn. This is in color clarity. I'm very close to finishing this. I just want to add one more ball to the collar and it'll be done. And then two more honorable mentions for Bravo Worsted. I'm making some great project progress on my knit cocoon shrug that's going to be similar to the crochet one and I've been working on a new knitting book the knit, knit power book and wanted to show you a little sneak peek of what it looks like as a knitted shawl also so there's some sneak peeks for Bravo worsted if you're interested in that yarn okay are we ready <laughs> so in the first box that I ordered from them I focused on some sport weight yarns. I think they're all sport weight. Let me just double check. I want to make sure that I say all of this correctly. No, I ordered fingering weight and sport weight. But like I said, I've got another bigger box coming. Uh, well, I guess I can tell you my one of my other unboxings is going also going to be knit picks, and I'm not going to tell you what the other two yarn unboxings are going to be, but they're all going to be amazing. I picked some really gorgeous yarns and some really beautiful colors too so hopefully you're uh you'll be as inspired as i am to work with them let's see hi lashera okay yeah bravo worsted is lovely i really like working with it it's very soft it washes very well too i love the way it drapes after it's been washed and blocked okay are we ready <laughs> all right let's see if i can organize this as we go uh why don't we start and work our way up so maybe we start with the fingering weight yarn 
So in fingering weight yarn, oh man, are these pretty? In fingering weight yarn, I got Stroll Gradient, which is a number one fingering weight yarn. And it is 75% fine superwash merino wool and 25% nylon. Look at these colors. And uh, what I what really appealed to me is how high the yardage was. 458 yards of number one fingering weight yarn. We could make smallish one ball shawls with these. How gorgeous are these? So this is color Beach House. So pretty. <laughs> and this is color FOMO. So again, that's a little over 400 yards of number one fingering weight yarn in a self-striping striping yarn, superwash merino and nylon blend. So it's not gonna felt if you wash it. So really easy to work with. Uh, Judy's sharing links to everything, so that's awesome. And I shared a link to the blog post. So if you want the live links that Judy is sharing, wonderful, so easy to follow those. But if you go to the, my blog post later, you can see detailed photos of each color of every yarn I ordered, plus all of the specs the fiber content, the yardage, all that stuff, what colors I ordered, and then links to go directly to Knitpick's website so you can order them yourself. And they're all on sale, so awesome. Also, I wanted to mention, Knitpick's offers free shipping on US orders if you spend $65. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to order the bigger orders because I wanted to take advantage of the free shipping. Who doesn't love free shipping, right? And I think it's perfectly reasonable to ask you to spend a little more money in order to do it. Okay, next yarn, we'll go with the next one being that I have, I only got four balls of it. The other one I bought a bunch more balls because I wanted to try some new colors. This is, oh, let me get the right one. I know I got four. There we go. So this is an animal fiber yarn that I ordered. This is called Andean Treasure. It is a sport weight alpaca yarn. It's a 100% baby alpaca. 110 yards per ball, number two sport weight. So, so pretty. And I got these four colors. This is Fog Heather. This is Calypso Heather. This is Royal Heather. And, and Cherry Blossom Heather. Honestly, <laughs> I think these colors are gorgeous on their own, but my idea was to do some sort of color work with them. And I don't know if I'm thinking using all four of them, using two, but using all four for like a sampler cowl or with using all four to do some sort of a shawl or motif work we could do colorful motifs in a shawl or a cowl or a scarf or maybe a matching hat and scarf but aren't those colors gorgeous hi Shelly I just, I don't even know what to say. They're just as pretty as I thought they were going to be. I love the halo. Can you see the halo? Because it's 100% baby alpaca. And I love that they're heathered as well. Yes, knit would be absolutely gorgeous, Judy. The drape on alpaca, just something else. Alpaca was one of the first, was probably the first high-end luxury fiber I ever found in a yarn shop years ago when I first started knitting and crocheting and I had never heard of alpaca before and I remember touching the yarn and going oh my goodness what is that <laughs> just the softest thing I've ever felt and uh, anyway I've always been in love with alpaca and a little interesting tidbit in case you're unfamiliar did you know among the animal fiber world alpaca is considered hypoallergenic because it doesn't have lanolin in the core of the fiber like wool does more often than not, wool allergies are due to an allergy of the lanolin in the fiber shaft. Isn't that interesting? Also, it can be because of the guard hairs. If, it's, if it feels a little scratchy, that can cause skin irritation as well. So you're not necessarily allergic to alpaca if you're allergic to wool. Sometimes you can be allergic to wool and still be okay knitting, crocheting, or wearing alpaca. Also, it is considered warmer than uh, wool and I don't remember the details on it but I can brush up on my knowledge of alpaca and share that with you another day as well <coughs> excuse me hi Mel hi Thea hi Dawn I could just pet this 
We're not gonna say it's as soft as baby Bjorn. Goodness gracious, we don't wanna make this guy jealous, but it's, it's really incredibly soft. Really excited to uh, work with that. So I'll be doing some swatching on these yarns in the next couple of days, and then suggesting these as substitutes for some of my patterns that don't have yarn uh, support anymore and um, we'll go from there and design new things. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Okay, the next yarn that I ordered, I ordered in a bunch of colors because I was really excited to not only see the yarn, but also see the colors in person because it comes in lots of colors. And of course, I had to pick all my favorite colors. So this is another sport weight yarn. And the blend is, let me double check so I say it properly. 60% Pima cotton, 40% Modal, which means it's going to have some shine and some drape and be super duper soft. And it is just as soft as I thought it was gonna be. And this is Shine. This is Sport Weight Shine by Knit Picks. The number two Sport Weight, let me tell you what the yardage is. 110 yards per 50 gram ball. And let's go over the colors too, because they're so pretty. Does it say the name of the color on here? <laughs> I have the names listed on my blog post. Let's go to my blog post, because I did all my, all my research there. This is color Iris. This is color Crocus. This is color Cosmopolitan. This is color hydrangea. Oh my goodness, can you see a shawl in these? Oh my goodness, these are so pretty. This is color blush. This is color peapod and reef and cream. Wow. The colors are so rich and vibrant and can you see that beautiful sheen in the yarn? The sheen comes from the modal content content and it's super super soft because of the pima cotton content it is so soft and supple i just know it's going to drape beautifully for garments and shawls uh, you could also do bags in all of them as well so pretty it comes in a ton of colors let's see what am i excited about here let's look at those purples again holy smoke those are so pretty the purples but even with the turquoise or going in the green and the turquoise with them. How fun is that? Or popping that color out and going in this direction. How pretty is that? Or going in this direction. Or let's try something else. Like that, oh yes. And this, oh my goodness. So pretty. Oh my goodness, just looks like a party, doesn't it? What do you guys think? Do you like what I ordered? I think that these would be amazing as a motif project as well. I also wanted to order based on the, my design aesthetic and my love of color because I thought it might be helpful for you guys. I know everybody likes it when I pick colors together, so I thought it might be fun for you to see how I pick the colors together. And then I knew which color was going to be my favorite, <laughs> so I ordered one other treat for myself. I knew I was going to like the yarn. I knew I had to be responsible and not buy, you know, 10 balls of everything that I ordered, but there was one that I had, I couldn't resist. I bought 10 extra balls in this color, which is called Crocus. Such a beautiful color, like a, like an orchid. Not that I love purple orchids or anything. Look at my hair today. <laughs> Today's my mom's birthday and I'm taking her out later. I made her some white chocolate Oreo fudge for her birthday and I'll be surprising her with that later today and then taking her out for dinner and I'm already dressed for that. So as you can see, I already like orchid purple, but I knew that this was just going to be so beautiful. I don't even know. I don't know if I want to make a dress, a cardigan, certainly a garment. Uh, you know how much I love this color. You know how much I love designing in it. So let's recap what everything I ordered. And if you have any questions, please let me know. So we ordered Stroll Gradient, which is the number one fingering weight, superwash merino wool and nylon blend, over 400 yards per ball, which means we could do small-ish one ball shawls. We could do rectangular, a smaller rectangular wrap. We could do a scarf. We could do quite a bit with 400 and 400 some, was it 450? 
I don't have it memorized, sorry. 458 yards, there's a lot we can do with those. So that was color Beach House and Stroll, and that's called Stroll Gradient Yarn. Really excited to try that, and I love Gradient Yarn, and I love One Ball Project, so that'll be super fun. Then this is a number two sport weight yarn, 100% baby alpaca. The heathered colors with the halo of the alpaca is just stunning. Can't wait to see what this looks like in lace, motifs, color work. So soft, and we've got royal heather from this side, fog heather, cherry blossom heather, and calypso heather. I kind of like the idea of all four of these colors together, but certainly two of, we could combine any two of these for two color projects as well. The, the, the pink and the purple look great together. The turquoise and the gray look good together. The pink and the gray look good together. The gray and the purple look good together. And even the turquoise and the pink. I don't think you could go wrong with any of these. And the heather colors, when colors are heathered, I feel like it makes them easier to mix together as well. And you know, you pick the colors that you like, but I'm really digging these colors. Very excited to get started on those. Then the third yarn that I ordered was uh, Shine Sport, which is the sport weight blend of Pima Cotton and Modal, and it has a gorgeous sheen because of the Modal. It has, it is super, super, super soft because of the Pima Cotton, and it takes the dye so well. These colors are really saturated, and I bought all my favorite colors, all of the turquoises and pinks and purples, and they are just stunning. And then I bought some cream to, you know, balance it out. So we'll, we'll work up some swatches in motifs and color work and we'll do some lace and then I will probably whip up something fabulous with this 10 pack of my favorite of the colors, which is crocus. All right, does anybody have any questions? Oh, and if anybody, uh, like if you, anybody didn't see me in the beginning, I did wanna give honorable mention to Bravo Worsted, which is the yarn I ordered last month from, um, that I ordered last month from Knit Picks. And this is the Cocoon Shrug in color clarity that is almost done. I've got one ball left to go on the collar and then the knit version in color. Ooh, what is this color called? S something S Solstice Heather? S Solstice Heather maybe? I'll share it with you when I, oh, it's right here. I've got extra balls of it right here. Solstice Heather, I was right, okay. All right, does anybody have any questions? I will stick around and see if there's any questions. All right, let's get that chat back up. So I can see. Thank you, Judy, for sharing that. Yes, Modal is a man-made fiber that comes from a beechwood tree and that it is processed. So it is a fiber made from cellulose. So in the plant fiber family, kind of like bamboo and cotton and some of the other fibers in that then that area. So it is not an animal fiber, it is a plant plant plant-based cellulose fiber that goes through some processing and it, that's what gives it that incredible sheen and incredible drape, you know, the silk-like qualities that we like in cellulose fibers. Thanks, Lois. I'm super excited about the shrug so far. Too. You want me to try this one on? I can try this on. Again, it's not, it's not blocked, so it's not at its full height of beauty yet, but we can certainly do a little preview. So this is the second size. It's gonna come in a small extra, or an extra small, small, a medium large, this is the medium large. Then there will be an extra large, or one X, two X, and a three X, four X. And this is what it looks like so far. And I've got one more ball to go. I want the collar to just be a little bit bigger. And if there's anything left, I might add a little bit to the cuffs, but I just want the collar to be a little bit bigger so it could come a little closer to the front if needed. 
but in general a cocoon shrug is not meant to close it's meant to just be worn as a shrug like this and I think it looks great so far I'm very happy with the way it turned out so it'll probably be for that size it'll be around six balls um, but I do not have the math worked out yet to tell you how many balls in all the sizes yet because I'm waiting until I'm totally finished with it so that I can do the math calculations from there Oh, let's see. What's the content of the baby alpaca? This is 100% baby alpaca. And I can tell you the, and all of the, those details are on my blog post. So if you want to go to the blog post, you can find all of that as well. Uh, do I think Modal cotton would be good for dish claws? I don't see why not, I, which should be fine. Thank you, Gerilyn. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Did you like the yarn unboxing? Would you like more of this? Are you interested in seeing what colors I put together in different yarns and what other and what appeals to me on a yarn company's website and what I decide to order? I do want to mention I uh, paid for all of this myself. They are these are not promotional materials. I placed the order myself and placed an order over $65 so that I could get free shipping and you can get the same benefits as well. And you know, being that time of year, everything is on sale so you can find some really great savings and they also have a 10 pack discount on qualifying yarns. Bravo Worsted is one of them. Them if you use coupon code my value pack and it'll tell you on the website when you do that you can get an extra discount when you order 10 balls of any qualifying yarns. Good, I'm glad you like the yarn unboxing. That's awesome. I enjoyed doing this too. This is so fun. Look, I can't keep, I keep picking this up. I just don't even know what I want to make with it yet. I know I want to make something exciting though. Thank you, Chris. Yes, happy birthday to my mom. Can't tell you her age. She'd be so mad at me, but uh, <laughs> anyway, I just, uh, Made her some Oreo white chocolate fudge since she loves white chocolate and we're going to go out to dinner or later today. This one I can't stop picking up and petting too. This is extremely soft. The Al, what is it called? Um, Andean Treasure is the number two sport weight. 100% baby alpaca in just the most gorgeous colors I could pick together. And oh, what should we make with these? I'm gonna make one ball somethings in these, right? You know, we could use, uh, we could go to Crochet Power and pick any of the, in let's see, let me grab the book so I can tell you about it real quick. Let me tell you what my idea is. Where did I put it though? I may not know where I put it, hold on. Ah, it's not where I thought it was. Anyway, you know the book, Crochet Power One. My one of my newest books where we go through 19 stitch patterns and organize them by even in rows, even in rounds, increase in rows, increase in rounds. So what we could do is take any one of those stitch patterns in the increase in rounds section, increase in rows section, and make top down triangular shawls with these yarns and just see how far we go. That would be amazing, right? And if we have some yarn at the end, we could pick up Crochet Power 2, my newest book with a hundred crochet edgings and whip out an edging for the last couple of rows. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. And I will record the whole process so I can share it with you here as well. Uh, sure, I can, I can give it to you really quickly. It was one and a half cups of chocolate chocolate chips. I did a dozen Oreo cookies crushed up and one can of sweetened condensed milk. Took the, the white chocolate chips and the sweetened condensed milk, microwaved them in 30 second intervals until it was soft, dumped that into a giant bowl with the crushed Oreos, mixed it all together, put it into a pan and put it in the fridge to set up. It was really that easy. It took about three minutes to make. Um, all I have left to do is cut it into squares and put it on a nice plate and take it over to my mom. Be fun to pick. I would like to do a coconut dark chocolate one. Doesn't that sound yummy? Maybe mm -mm -mm. nuts and coconut in dark chocolate. I think that's what I'll make for myself. I have a birthday coming up soon too, so maybe I'll make that for my birthday. And then I'll share the recipe with you guys around my birthday. All right. Does anybody have any other questions?
glad to see you'd like to see more content like this. I had so much fun doing this. I have been on pins and needles waiting for the tracking information to show delivered so that I could do this. You know how hard it is to keep surprises. I like doing teases and talking about surprises, but I really, really, really like uh, like being able to do this. And the the next shipments are bigger than this one. This was the smallest shipment of the four orders that I placed. So I've got huge unboxings coming, not huge. I'm not gonna exaggerate, not huge. But as big as this one is, it's not the big, it's the smallest one of the four. Oh, happy birthday, Dawn. Sure, I can do a video making the chocolate one, super easy, three ingredients, about three minutes to make, and I did it in the microwave, so easy. Okay. All right, I don't see any other questions. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend a few minutes here with me. I hope you enjoyed my yarn unboxing, seeing all of these gorgeous colors that I picked from Knit Picks. Hope you enjoyed talking about the different things that we can do with them and how to mix and match these colors. Hope you enjoyed chatting with me and everyone else. If you like my channel, please consider subscribing. If you click that bell button next to the subscribe button, you can also be notified every time I go live and every time I have a new video released. If you like this content today, give it a thumbs up. And if you have questions right now, leave them in the comments. If you end up watching the recorded version, always feel welcome to leave your comments there because I reply to everybody every day. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you next time. Bye.